Pablo we... Escobar. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Picard Day! Nice story Picard we're late. Happy Picard Day. It's been a very long day. Work was like it was extreme. There was like a festival in one of the one of the streets in Vancouver, so we were a little bit late getting out, and it was just a very, very long day. So yeah. excuse us for being late. Uh, and actually there's no captain's log tonight. We're just gonna go right into kind of like what's happened. So we're hmm. starting kind of midway. That makes it not midway. It's the opening scene. You're already progressed into the adventure. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So your 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 ship was assigned to deliver important scientific a- uh, equipment mm-hmm. to Epsilon Nineteen, a newly constructed research station deep in the Shackleton Expanse. Uh, the station was built to study the sun of the Osarin system, which is decaying at an incredibly accelerated rate. Possibly even stranger, the sun has also begun emitting high levels of triolic radiation for unknown reasons. Upon arrival, Tactical noted that an unarmed merchant vessel was all, also orbiting the station. The station was too small for the venture to dock, so you, uh, for the Payette to dock, so you beamed over. Uh, and then you sent the Payet off to do more scans, uh, uh, more detailed scans of the system's sun. Makes sense, right? Sure. Because the station's right there. You're just staying within the system. It's not that big a deal. This is a routine delivery of this equipment is the idea, right? Cool. Um, so after the offloading of the, sta- the equipment and after, uh, while well, you guys are kind of like, seeing the kind of dispersal of everything to where it needs to be, uh, helping the station out. Uh, Commander Johannesson is uh, invited you to dinner. At dinner, you're surprised to not only see uh, to see uh, the commander and the head scientist, uh, there's also, uh, who's a Bolian woman named Liana Mosa, but there's someone uh, you actually recognize. Is it Vi? It is Vi. Uh, and her Your crew crutch. of two Nausicans. Okay. What are Nausicans? Uh, really ugly, scary looking aliens who are pretty Basically aggressive. Basically like the involved. Predators. Yeah, like the uh, Predators, okay. but their face doesn't fully open up. Okay. And a Nausicaan is one that stabbed Picard in the back, giving him his pacemaker, so. Yeah. Nice little tie-in. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do have a question about him. I'm this tonight. It's just in the way. Did yeah. we not... Did we finish our last adventure? Yes. Sort of, yes. It ended in a cliffhanger? Not really. Our we last adventure and Sorry, go ahead. No, so I'm going to compare your eraser. Oh. Our last adventure ended with a screenshot of the uh, commander who was from Starfleet Intelligence. Sigmund. Sigmund, who had stopped a Romulan. Not a warbird, but a smaller vessel. No, and I think it was actually it was a warbird. Was well, they yeah. sh- the ship. Shot it, and then it kind of ended there. So we didn't get a full resolution on what had happened, but that, that's okay. Nor did you get uh, coordinates. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. And then we, we got told to it. hush it. Well, I got told to hush it. <laughs> none of what you guys have shared with her has been is public. So none of the stuff that you know that happened is allowed to be talked about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm assuming the device that had all the stuff that. was taken from our ship. I'm sure we had to return it, yes. Fair. Anyways, the star's imploding. Well, it's just, it's deteriorating, which is not unusual. Uh, but in this case, it's the rate at which it's deteriorating that is unusual. Okay, so we knew we were going to be in this star at this before we left? Yeah. So I'm going to convert the modular labs to stellar phenomenon. Cool. Yeah, that would make perfect sense. Um... Uh, so Vi sees you, and okay. and she just kind of gives you like a very professional nod. Yeah. And then and then introduces herself. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> we're all looking at you. Uh, uh, so we're, she, we're doing that tennis match back and forth. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's presented. Uh, she's got. Uh, like, as you guys all sit to dinner, she kind of like, oh, hi, I'm Captain Vi, the the merchant ship you saw out there. 
Um, Captain Zanny. I feel like we've met before. To, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Um, uh, I, uh, yeah, yes, uh, apologies. Um, uh, Lieutenant Commander Yisikov. Uh, pleased to meet you. Yeah. Captain Vi. And, uh, and you two? A Klingon in a Federation uniform. Interesting. Have you not heard of Lieutenant Commander Worf? Very hmm. rare is not. I mean, he... On the other side of the galaxy, if I remember correctly. I mean, the Klingons and the Federation are working hand-in-hand at Narandra Station. Why not experience life as a Federation engineer for once? Lieutenant Fair Commander enough. Worf is our... Uh, on the exchange program... My name is Gurkhan, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, yes. <laughs> I have... I appreciate that, I appreciate that was it. a very impressive name for get even for you, Commander. Oh, for, stop it, and, Spark. And you, are, <laughs> and you are. I am Lieutenant Sofek. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant Sofek. Or wait, no, sorry, I can do this. She kind of manipulates her hands. Live long and um, something else. Um, be You're, well. It is close enough. Leave. Do you actually go shake or? <laughs> no, I just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. No touching, right? Sorry. Um, Captain, and she looks over, not at you, at the commander of the station, and he's just kind of like, uh, Commander, please. Oh, right, of course. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I, I, I have some gifts for you for letting us stay here. You let us, like, you've been so generous and you have so little room, so I just wanted to show my appreciation. Um, and she just kind of presents we stuff. We don't have any of our equipment, do we? We're to the just, table. Yeah, we're, like, we're, like, we're like wearing our like dress formal uniforms. Formal uniforms, yes. I want you that have a green shirt. wrappy shirt. All right. Yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll come up with an updated one for us. Okay. Like we'll we'll do it on Star Trek Online. We'll build like a, a modern one with the wrappy shirt for yeah. you. Yeah. I'm wearing the full Federation long coat. The long coat. Long coat, yeah. but I got my sash over the top. Yeah. Okay. With all my Federation medals up top, and then my Klingon ones. Right along with it, but my Federation. Since we're all supposed to be different, I've got the waistcoat. With we're the all supposed to be different? Okay. Yeah, we're all just wearing those I'm wearing up. regulation Starfleet dress uniforms. You're not going dress uniform, but which one? Which one? There are multiple. Hence the reason we're all different, yeah. because it's our ship and we do that. Mm. Of course we do. Rappy shirt. Rappy shirt. <laughs> do you want to go the the white coats? With the, yeah, there were, those would have been around at that point. Yeah, we're in those are a little bit newer, but it's okay. It's the most up-to-date dress uniform that Starfleet has put out there for you official go. use. Uh, so uh, uh, she bad. presents the commander with uh, some French wines from Chateau Picard. Yeah. Uh, some Delvin fluff pastries for dessert. And, uh, and uh, even a... a Traxian, a Triaxian s- silk robe for the commander specifically, and the commander seems totally taken <clears throat> with with uh, Vi. Yeah, <clears throat> the two kind of like are locked in conversation mm. for much of the night. What's the general feeling in the room? Um, like, um, she, because she it seemed weird not to recognize. Yesikov. Yeah. Why don't oh, you? Yeah, there... you can do your feelings thing. Why don't you? Get I feel in? uncomfortable. What would that be? And like, jealous. I'd be like an insight <laughs> and uh, uh, your feelings. insight and command. Yeah. yeah. I, my so character's in only interaction with what she threatened to kill Well, I think you. it's reason and command. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll do insight and command. So this one will right. yeah. the second time I met her. Uh, hmm. That's only one, I think. Yes. One success. One success, eh? Okay. Um, can you guys move the box? That way, just a smidge. All right. Yes. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, and a little bit this way. Perfect. Thank oh, you. Oh, also, soft soft screen. what are our directives? Ah, uh, prime directive as always. And uh, the other one is, uh, do you know what? Uh, I really like kind of made this one up when I was reading through the adventures. The other one's just going to be called Just a Delivery. Huh. That was easy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just was like, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so Prime Directive is always there. But Just a Delivery is the other one. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Eric, Eric Johansson, Commander... Uh, Commander is flirting up a storm. Uh, and you got one success? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, like, it, a little bit odd. You don't get any, like, big time, oh, something's up vibes. But, I mean, Noskins are really hard to read. And you've been around Vi enough to, she knows who you are. So mm. she could just be shielding herself, right? Like, I'm not really trying. Just not hard. Yeah, you're just kind of taking passive in, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, um, every now and then, uh, she kind of looks over at you. I'm just like picking at my food. And, and and they'll be in conversation. We'll say that you're sitting right next to her. And she just kind of leans in and she tries to talk to you. Are you going to let her? Are you playing the jealous? Like, are you <laughs> jealous? No, I'm not petty. I'll let her talk to me. Okay, so she'll try and like, like so uh, what do you do? Oh, I do various things on the ship. It's not, nothing to concern yourself with. Oh, uh, Okay. <laughs> Don't be modest. Well, <laughs> well, what what brings you? You're just dropping off some equipment. Then. Well, no, uh, we've been we've been we've been just kind of like doing some deliveries around the region, and, and happened to be in the neighborhood and met Johansson the last time we were doing deliveries. So I thought I'd stop and say hi. And, oh, and then so you nothing up. nothing specific on this station, then? No, no, no. It's more of just a coincidence. You're here at the same time we are. I think. Uh, I see, yes. Well, uh, uh, Starfleet uh, welcomes you, I'm sure. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. This is even painful for the <laughs> Vulcan to watch. This, this, is, this is the first time you've seen Sofek look slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so she tries She tries her hardest to flirt with you, but you're so thrown off by the whole concept of like what's going on mm -hmm. that every time she gets close... To flirting, mm -hmm. you just kind of like shut down, and mm -hmm. she kind of like takes the vibe as you're not interested, and then starts flirting with the camera yeah. again. Okay. And he is like into her. Meanwhile, yeah. you three are talking with uh, Liana Mosa, the head uh, head scientist, um, and she's just like excited, kind of like for fascination reasons, and less for like like it's not like it's exciting. A star's gonna die. It's more like. This is kind of fascinating that this is happening, right? Kind of like mm. watching me when I talk about my games. You guys like <laughs> giggle at me, and you're like, just let them go. You know, you're like, <laughs> and I get really into it. So uh, the Osarian sun is dying at like a massively incredible rate. Uh, she's determined, her and her team, that the process of decay has actually been increasing exponentially over the past millennia. And the rate of decay increased even more in the last year. At the current rate, she figures that it'll collapse... Uh, Maybe in the next six months. Do you have any uh, theories on why that's occurring? Well, I mean, n not yet. But I mean, th here's the weird part. Unlike most stars of this size, it doesn't... Uh, we don't actually expect it to go nova. Because somehow the energy appears to be just vanishing. Something smells funky. Well, the current theory is that it's it's being like drained into another dimension. The what? Well, yeah, we have no proof, but that's our current theory. It's part of the reason why we're focused so hard on this in the station because if it's gone in the next six months, we have very little time to actually collect data and try and figure out what's going on. And the energy output is decreasing, like through somewhere else. Well, we don't know where else. It's just not. So it should be, it should be, you, can either create, you can't create or destroy energy, it just changes form, yes? That's what he told me once, yes. Well, in this case, the energy appears to be just vanishing. And its rate of vanish is increasing. Exactly. And this theory of it going into another dimension. It's something we've kind of been playing with, because where else could it be going? Do you believe it is natural or artificial causes? We don't know. That's part of the reason why we wanted to be here to see it. Um, there's 15 scientists on board, all under my command, and most of them have been here since the station was constructed six months ago. So we've been collecting more data faster and faster. Uh, the only thing we know for certain is that... Uh, that, that after examining the makeup of the sun, we still can't... The only thing we know for certain is that we can't determine when, what's causing the triolic waves coming from it. Do you have a plan of attack for 
proving your hypothesis at this point. Ooh. Every once in a while, Danny hits the three pointer. Mm-hmm. And the GM has to go, hmm. Hmm. Things that it make comes you from go, hmm. having so fucking too close from proximity, you, you catch hmm. up too much of my your scientific brain thoughts. Yeah. Scientific brain <laughs> thoughts. It is a technical term commissioned by the Falcon Science Committee. Maybe. Yeah. Just Danny wakes up. Yeah, okay, I blacked that out. Was, that was that was good. <laughs> you asked a lot of point and questions. <laughs> Important questions. I blacked out for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is all really nice that someone saved me from my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Well, so they haven't no. had they haven't had a ship. They haven't had a ship uh, um, actually go to the sun. Well, kind of. So they they've had this, but the station was only com- completed six months ago, and, and since they've done it, they haven't had another delivery. That's part of the reason why you're here. Ooh, right. And uh, so, <laughs> uh, I, excuse me. I actually talked to Captain Danny to go. Well, Captain, I had just finished converting the modular laboratories into researching stellar phenomena. Maybe we can invite them on board? Hot damn! Well, well you did send the ship over, right? So the ship's collecting data right now. Yes, so but we that can bring means these we can onto bring our, you yeah, into yeah. our newly reconfigured Klingon certified modular laboratory. Didn't we also get the advanced sensor upgrade? The advanced sensors we've had for a while, you just don't use them very often, Captain. <laughs> Haven't had a need. We've been shot at a lot. Yep. I mean, you don't need to sense when something's getting shot at us. Kind of feel the vibration. Anyways, we could definitely uh, take you on a, an excursion, you and your team. Well, uh, that'd be good. So at this point, the captain kind of like peeks in, or the commander uh, peeks in and on your side of the table. And just after you hear Vi... Mm-hmm. Say something like, "Well, the ship was damaged in an ion storm, and we were wondering if we could use your facilities to like just fix it." That's what she said to the commander. Okay. Okay. And then the commander kind of switches to you guys and said, "Well, that's great. The equipment you brought was kind of the last of what we've been waiting for. So if you've already started scanning the star, now we can put the equipment in and do our full analysis that we've been trying to do. We haven't been able to yet." I, I just think that's a plan. Yes, that's why we're here. Fantastic. Let's do it. We can, uh, and instead of having the Pyat come back, we can just, uh, well, are they within transporter range so far? No. No? We'll shuttle over. That way we can... They can... <laughs> you simply wish to fly again, don't you, Commander? Yes, don't kill my buzz. I, I lean buzz, over... you should be easing off the I air. lean over to the scientist and I go, make sure you strap in. It's not even Romulan. Or bring a helmet. Yes. We'll keep the inertial dampeners on this time. I'm assuming this isn't our shuttle, because our okay. shuttles have crash helmets installed in them now. Yeah. Just in a rack well like belts. timing helmets that I've replicated <laughs> nonstop. Five point harnesses on every seat. You're going to just install a button to hit and crash helmets to fall yeah. down like off oxygen masks. Every wall like breaks out into like padding. Um, I thought you were dealing with your ex-girlfriend. Anyways, when should, should we? What time do you think we should leave? I mean, why don't we wait till tomorrow morning? It's already late. Oh, eight hundred. Uh, 0800 sounds good, and then he turns back to buy. And you hear him go, oh yeah, sure, no problem. The crew could use the entertainment facilities, of course. That's no problem at all. (laughs) (laughs) Sudden panic suits into my heart. The the captain turns to go and talk to them. Um, I'm just going to lean in. What are you doing? Uh, no, she's talking. That she's talking. Oh, oh. When in like, between? In While between, he's okay. yeah. My ship was caught in an ion storm, and I'm here to. Why are you pretending you don't know this? <laughs> <laughs> don't give me that. It's, it's not an answer. I I I need you to do uh, daring and security. Oh, okay. there you go. Um, is this intimidation? Because I got a thing for that. Ah, uh, yes. It's fine. Um, daring and security, I got two successes. I'm using a threat. Of course you are. Okay, so she looks back at you and she says, uh, what are you talking about? We've never met. I don't know you got you two. Should. You got two successes. Yeah. Okay. So you got like a very like for a split second. You're like, 
Oh, oh, I know that look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the ixnay on the shut fuck up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody but running it, the scam, you're blowing it. But it was a little bit, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Maybe you'll join me for a drink later. I'd love to hear more about the damage on your ship. Maybe I can help in some way. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. Uh, in the meantime, um, I'm going to go talk to my crew. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too. And she looks over at the <laughs> captain, and she does, or the commander, and she does one of those, I'll see you later. <clears throat> and then, not to you, to the commander. <laughs> of the yeah, if she did that to me, I'd, be like, look at, I'd look at Yezuko and be like, <laughs> yeah. Even still, you probably did, right? What did you do? Actually, at this point, I'm looking at her going, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> when the commander's facing the other um, way. Uh, so, the commander mm. just opened up a Federation station to an Orion crew. Yes, no, I heard that. that Hence the, I'm amazed they had entertainment Who has a history of here. running casinos so out of the entertainment. technically... Thing. You outrank the commander, but the commander runs this station. Yeah, I know. I've had people bully me on my own ship and didn't like it, so I wouldn't. You gonna I won't stay do away? that. Okay. I won't do that to them publicly. I'll wait until this whole thing goes over and advise him that perhaps he shouldn't. The Orions have a history of manipulating um, intoxicated individuals. Into doing things they shouldn't. Perhaps he would, uh, or maybe make sure they're under heavy surveillance. Yeah, either surveil them or maybe restrain themselves from indulging. Can you give me a give me a, just a a, a d twenty roll? Um, this is more of like you realizing something. Inside check. Fourteen. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. So I was kind of using the dice as a, like a little bit of a cheat. Mm. As you're kind of watching this whole thing, you're like, ever since this mission started, the name that you saw, you always had a problem with names. Yes, always had no. a problem with names. So the name you saw was like, God, I hate all those names. And then you saw the commander, and you're like, fuck, I don't want to just know this name. I know this face. And you've been struggling this whole time, and then you realize this guy went to you, to, went with you to the academy. That's probably why I don't remember him. You were rivals, oh. like in the academy. Really? What was his name again? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, Eric Johansson. Eric, I didn't write that down. Nobody did. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I am because I have two pieces of paper. Eric Johansson. Yeah. Johansson. So he and was my rival? You guys were kind of like, you were you were rivals and then it got like weirdly bitter as the years progressed in the academy. And you're fairly certain that you like just was like cut after you left the academy because why would you bother yourself, right? You're just holding me back, Commander. Right, exactly. Commander, mm. what's your rank? Technically captain. So can you imagine how this guy would feel? Well, if this if all these memories are coming back and I'm at least doing it in private, I don't care at this okay. point. Also, I'm just, you know what? I'm just throwing it out there. You're rep twenty, so all the Federation knows of our daring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that <laughs> or something. Uh, <laughs> probably or halfway through this, it clings in my brain, and I'm like, no, I still don't like him. <laughs> but I'm in. I'm advising restraint. You uh, as as. Mosa is talking about the different scientists. You realize that one of the scientists is actually, you know what, just for shits and giggles, one of the scientists is an acquaintance of both of yours. We're going to say that it's a... Ferengi? Yeah, no. What? <laughs> That'd be great. We both got swindled by a Ferengi. It's Ferengi scientist? Yeah, Ferengi scientists are they not are, above they the... They do exist. They're rare, yeah. but they do exist. They're not above the um, rights of acquisition. Yeah. No, but this would be this would be in the Federation. So let's say let's say it's an Andorian. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Andorians are a good history angry. with Andorians over there. Yeah. So I'm, there's a possibility that I got into a shouting slash fist fight with an Andorian because they'll take it as good as they'll give it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and let's say they're in, in um, stellar physics. 
stellar quantum physics, I could pretty much just throw a bunch of sciencey words uh -huh. together. Yeah. Yeah. Stellar so quantum, quantum radial quantum. physics. I'm stellar quantum radial physics. Yeah. I'm sure he had plenty of theories that just required huge leaps of illogical thinking. It's pretty much exactly why it drives you crazy. But you guys remained friends as much as Scientific Balkans colleagues. Ever. Uh, there you go. Acquaintances. Uh, and you just dug him because he held his own. Yeah, we, we got into a fight and I bought him a drink afterwards. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't a fight, it was an argument where he didn't back down. I'm like, surprising. <laughs> bought him blood wine. He drank it quicker than I did, so I was like, so, well done. Commander kind of looks at all of you and says, uh, um, uh, please, I, I insist, go go take a look around the station. Um, I'll follow presently. Meet me on the command deck. It would be wonderful to actually show you around uh, my post. We appreciate the invite. It seems super sincere, but a little bit like forced with you, looking specifically. <laughs> but kind of like one of those, like, you might be the captain, but I have a station. Like it's kind of like puts, that. Puts like that little emphasis on my. Post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, mm. yeah. My head is just going. If you want a measuring contest, I'm gonna win this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so. Uh, my response is that would be fine. Excellent. So he hits his comm badge and says, uh, and number one, uh, two of my. Or, Sorry, four of the uh, the command crew from the Pyatt are on their way up. Please show them around the command deck, and I'll be there presently. And you hear a woman's voice say, very good. Um, we'll see you on... Wait. Commander, where are the Orions staying? Oh, uh, on their deck, but we've given them access to the to the facilities of the, sh of the station. Oh. Hollow deck and... And uh, the the arenas and such. Yes, you were always trusting. I mean, you know, some some of us had to be. Hmm. Uh. Captain. Mm -hmm. And then and then he just kind of like turns, and and focuses directly with the uh, Vi. Oh, she's still there. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I thought she left. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll take my leave just by going. I'll see you on the command station. Commander, <laughs> walk out. All right. So the four of you are. Uh, you hit the turbo lift, and uh, Susan, I hate that guy. And as no. you say that, as you say that, <laughs> no, right? Like heavy yeah. sarcasm. The turbo lift screeches to a halt. Everything goes black, and then your stomachs kind of go root as you realize you're falling. Ah. I. Go Bryce. through the nearest command terminal and try to see if I can hit the emergency brake. You know the one you pull off and you gotta pull the handle. Okay, so you rush up, you grab, like you just kind of like pant, like full yeah. on rip it off and pull, and you pull and you feel the like the clamps kind of go out and you hear, and you kind of shudder to a halt. Um, um, and can I please have a di fitness and security please from all of you? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is not what I do. Oops. All right. Um, three successes. How many? Three. Okay. Oh. Uh, can I? Do I get any momentum with that? Uh, yeah, you get two. Okay. I would like to spend one to use um, close protection. I don't know if this is actually gonna work, but when you make a s oh no, that doesn't work. What is it? If you, when you make a successful attack, you may spend one momentum to protect a single ally within close <laughs> close range. How badly did he roll? I didn't roll a critical failure, but I didn't roll any successes. Uh, me and Seven both got two successes. Yep. Okay. Um, the next attack against that ally uh, increases the difficulty by one. So you can spend one, and okay. instead of taking instead of taking two uh, stress, mm. you're gonna just take one. Grab your arm as you hit the ground. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I, should have, I should have warned you before hitting the brakes, whatever. Yeah, exactly. And then as you kind of like sit there, you're just kind of like, all of you are like, okay. <laughs> so this is new. And you get up, and as you do, you fe feel uh, the whole shaft shudders, and the lift starts to fall again. And you realize that something above you just exploded. Uh, now I want a daring and security, please, as you realize, as the turbo lift is literally plummeting down the shaft with its brakes broken. 
I crit. I got three. All right. <laughs> I am now aware of what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, daring and security. I got one. Okay. Just as we fall, we're all gonna die. Um, three successes. Okay. Two successes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you two are both gonna take three CDs. I don't want no CDs for MP3. <laughs> <laughs> now I just gotta double check something because this is worded differently. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be critical damage is what CD is supposed to stand for. Unfortunately, this uh, module, I was trying to find it earlier, and the module, I couldn't find what it was. So um, I'm going to go with dice rolls is what it is. Okay. So it's going to be like the delta. Yep. yep. Oh, so vicious. Essentially, but it's just going to be the di the dice rolls for like doing normal damage. damage. Normal, yeah. yeah. So you're each going to take just three. One from the five. There's no extra. So it's not vicious. Okay. So. No. And no one got a complication, so it's it's gonna be good that way. Let's turn this up. It's pretty warm in here, hey? A little bit, but I'm doing all right. Just with yeah, okay. lights. Can this lights toast if you have my head. So I'm good with it. Fine. Yeah, it's a bit warm. I'm assuming I'm still holding on to the handle and I slam into the wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're just free falling now. Well, no. So what happened was you guys free fell, and uh, and you eventually get to the point where it just kind of like hits bottom. Uh, the station in this section, this part of the turbo shaft, wasn't that high up. Mm. So the damage you took was from it kind of like smashing down, and him stopping at midway really helped, right? Mm. So, uh, just here. Is everyone get up. okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm still holding on to the handle. Yeah. He will survive. Uh, so the turbo shaft, the uh, the emergency exit is open. Like you could easily access it. Is it already open, or could we just, or we have to open it? No, it's In not my, a hard time. Like, like just to open it. Six foot four, Gloria. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh. Are we sure the station wasn't breached? Or are we just gonna empty into vacuum? Oh. oh. Uh, hmm. Is there a way to check? Anybody got a tricorder? <laughs> we brought none of that stuff, Captain. Uh, I can open the I'm door and see if... I'm not proper uniform. See if we're on. Love I hit my head. These things are. May I... If may the I... explosion was above us, the area that we're on is probably sealed. And most stations, like our ships, will have automatic force fields. And so bulkheads. We, we can open the door and see what's on this floor. But, uh... And we are most likely going to be sealed if power the station does have power well at this point we don't really have a choice so yes I go yes sir I'll reach up and do how, how tall are these things do I have to like park where my elevator way up there? size you might need someone to help you like the super strong Vulcan the super strong yeah well I'm I'm literally laying on the ground still trying to like figure out we why can I give can't let go of the okay. handle Somebody gives me a my hand's like locked on I'm like whatever I just like <laughs> climb up and it's push open cramping. the door. Okay, so as you do, you pop it open, and uh, above you, uh, you see flames where the command deck should be. Yeah, my oh. That was the command deck, wasn't it? Uh, it looks like it, sir. And you realize too that you're actually not—you didn't smash down uh, the other. Like kind of like the backups to the backups to the backups are what kicked in and slammed you kind of in the middle of the shaft. Okay, I'm gonna climb up on top of the the elevator and just kind of look around. So above you, uh, our crew quarters. What's left of any kind of command center. Uh, below you would be the engineering, science lab, storage, and transporter room. Okay, is there any like is there a, f a door? I'm Jeffrey's thinking. tube. Well, no, because we're in the tube. You could probably have like, an elevator door that we could. Yeah, apart. I'm thinking of it as like an elevator shaft. So, is there like a floor like above us that I could open? Ah, uh, you could give to? it a shot. Yeah, okay. but that'd be crew quarters. Uh, so, you want to go up? Yeah, uh, I, I, I can see if I can get us up to the crew quarters at least. Okay, boost me up. <laughs> I'll, climb. Uh, I'll be fine, Captain. I can climb. It's not for you. I gotta get out of here too. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know you'll be fine. Uh, okay, I'll like flatten myself down on my stomach and like bring my hands down to. Okay. Bring somebody up. So as who's going up? I'm going up. Okay. Well, are we? Would our door be within line of the floor? No. It's above us or below us. It's one or the other. Like you're you're out of you're out of. And engineering is below us. Engineering is most definitely below you. I'm gonna be captain. Request permission to make my way towards the engineering section. You're still in the tube. One second. And then I just look over beneath the tube. Uh, it's, black, it's black. It's black. And you realize that uh, the only reason you can see up is because of the fire. So you're fairly certain that emergency power is on. Mm. So I'll just say, looks like emergency power is on, but uh, you might have a tough climb getting to the engineering bay. Maybe you and uh, Sofek. I understand from the schematics, the science department's down there too. Yes, Gov and I can try and figure out what happened at the command deck. Maybe encounter, you know, handsome. <gasps> Bye. Um, it's probably <laughs> fine. Sorry. Uh, do you would do? Would you like hands? Not. Do we you. have two already. <laughs> would you? Uh, you know what? You can rock down there. <laughs> We will find Lieutenant Commander. Just keep the captain safe and try to find any survivors. We recommend Lieutenant Commander. Duh. <laughs> I um, believe Lieutenant Commander Gurkhan has another concussion. Look, <laughs> we've all hit our head. hand out of the fucking elevator. We're going down. Yeah, but we you have need to, to go, go, go up. I will cut holes in the floor if I need to. Yeah, okay. Gurkhan, get out of the tube. <laughs> Poking it with my fist. I believe there was a hole here before. Can you reach the doors? <laughs> uh, all right. Yes, sir. Um, I'll climb up. So, fitness and security? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, and this one, sorry, this one is a uh, daring or control. And security? Yeah. Okay, that's all the same. Um, one success. You know, okay. Momentum. Uh, so, they have a momentum. Yay! Mine. Up the one, uh, <laughs> you get to the doors, and uh, it's going to take you a bit of an effort. You'll probably need a hand. Okay. I will climb up. Careful, Captain. <laughs> Careful. Credit. Three. <laughs> really? Uh, wow, there you go. So now we're Nailed both it. just like braced in this door well. Like. You're, you're spider, you're spider <laughs> you forgot, man. as a pilot, I'm used to climbing weird things because I've fallen out many a ship on a cliff. <laughs> yes, and you I'm sure can, like, used to climbing weird back, things. Uh, and you're on, it's, it is the crew deck. Okay. From here, I'm sure we can make it towards command center. Gurkhan, Sofak, are you out of the tube? Yeah, we're mm-hmm. climbing down. All right, over so, and down. Stay in communication. So you guys get down one deck. Um, without incident, mm-hmm. uh, would you like to hit the science deck first or go all the way down to engineering? Uh, with low, no power, I want to go to engineering because priority is keeping power and therefore force skills up. Okay. And then communication, but so far, free to do what you will. Uh, as far as I know, were there any like potential dangerous... Uh, experiments or tests going on in the science stations? I mean, um, not specifically. However, you do kind of realize that with the station where it is and triolic radiation is not exactly something flooding a station that's on emergency power, which means no shielding. Yay, cancer. (laughs) Yay, death. Uh, So at the very, at the very, at the very... At the very most, at this point, you'd want a, at, le- at least a tricorder. Well, there'll be tricorders in engineering. True. Oh. You need to get the shields back up. The best way to do that is in engineering. Tricorders will be in engineering. <laughs> I will follow and the lieutenant commander to engineering. The best way to uh, figure out what happens is in engineering. Engineering. I'm singing the song as we go down. Engineering. I'm also going to make sure he doesn't get more concussed. <laughs> I'm afraid he'll get lost. I'm mixing wor- I'm mixing Klingon with English at this point. <laughs> Kapla, engineering. <laughs> as I get to the door, my engin- I'm saying I'm literally going to yell engineering as I open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on, on, on your way down, though, it's still another couple levels, so I do need uh, another daring and control from each of you. Uh, daring control, daring security. Uh, oh, sorry, daring, daring or... Control and security. Control and security, please. Whoa. I got a success. A critical failure. 
which I am going to use I have two successes. Mm -hmm. a determination. Nice. No ridge is no problem. Kay. The station has no Klingons on board, but I'm still going to save them. All right. <laughs> it's good to have a concussion I rolled sometimes. Success. All two right. successes. So two for you. Oh, and let's see if I'm a veteran. Uh, so those are all in the pool. I am a veteran. Um, and I've only got one left because your pool's at five already. So how many successes did you get all together? Two. two. Well, there's your one. Uh, you might want to use some of those if, if you want to. Get some to. answers. I'm going to use this mm. to increase the quality of my success for climbing and opening said door. I'm going to do it in such a manner that is quiet. No enemies that might be on board the ship can hear me. Okay, cool. Even though I'm singing engineering. Yeah. <laughs> But they didn't hear the door open, and that's the important bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's... Where's they don't hear you, coming from? They don't hear you through the door. It's yeah. You guys can yeah. hear them echo, it echoes up. Like, uh, it's like yeah, sitting on my... opera. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. A jaunty tune. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to go one month. I've, I've, I've done at least one Klingon opera performance for the entire crew. Yeah. I got an average of 2.5 stars on the ship-wide Yelp. Oh, ship-wide Yelp? Ship -wide it's out of 7. Yeah. Out of 7. seven. Yeah. <laughs> but the food got a 7 out of 7. Mm. Which was prepared. Yeah, Scott was super into it. She just had like a single tier when it was done. She totally understood it because it was all about combat and death. <laughs> you're the one that you're the only one that gave it another 7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife gave it a 1. Yeah. <laughs> She's realistic, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Um... If we didn't get blown up, it just wouldn't be that exciting of a month. Cause this is you. Scars. Just look on the bright side of life. Uh, don't start with that again. We're all singing in the... <laughs> okay, uh, so it takes you some time. It takes you both some serious time to get down there. Sure. Um, how'd you do on that second roll? Second roll? Well, my first uh, control security was two successes. Yeah. Oh, right, Brun. And there's your one. Um, and <laughs> Ask a question while you're climbing. So are you yeah. continuing down to engineering, or are you now going to get off at uh, science labs? That's no. all I need to know. I'm continuing to engineering. Okay. Then I need another second roll from you, Jeff. There you go. Two successes. All right. Well, mm, there nope, you go. Nope, just once. <laughs> Good. Excellent. That's all you need. Um, excuse me. Uh, as you pull back the... Uh, as you pull back the... Uh, the uh, door yes Whew. as you pull back the door you see that uh the whole station like the whole engineering core is just kind of like like it took a hit yeah uh it's uh you find two dead engineers um one of the panels is on fire there's a broken eps conduit uh the automatic su fire suppression has stopped the worst of it but there's still plasma jetting from a broken conduit uh, the room is lined with computer monitors and control panels, and you see a complete secondary command center that allows... Uh, but the fusion reactor takes up the center of the room. Are uh, the two... And you, are, and it's kind are of they doing a weird flicker. Obvious dead, or are they just like... Air, passed out? Charred and obvious dead. Okay, then. Not going to bother with a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can am. save them! It looks like they took the hit from the, from the initial explosion of the UPS conduit. Fair. I, I, I point at a section at where in most engineering sections there's tricorders and flashlights and the emergency equipment, and I go, Sofek, if you would be so kind. I go grab a tricorder. I go grab two tricorders. Okay. And then there's like those square flashlights, and then a probably, I, I'm assuming it's like the emergency station. Yep. And I'm like, is there a fire suppressant? I guess it would be a mustering station. They would have a mustering station. Yeah, yeah. and usually, like, on the Enterprise, they had, like, a couple of phasers behind a second lockbox, but then you had the tricorders and a couple of flashlights. Next to it? Yeah. Next to it, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm assuming we won't need to get to phasers because we don't have the key, but whatever. We're yeah, not looking for that right yeah. now. Yeah. Unless I want to get... So you get, you get a med kit, and you get your... Uh, Engin an engineering kit. Engineering kit. Um, so you're going to take the med, med... It'd be, like, a small... Couple hypo sprays and like the tiny one, not the big one. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab it. Yeah, grab it and yeah, I'll grab a fire suppressor. Okay, uh, so it's gonna the fires. it's gonna take some. Uh, I need a daring and engineering to uh, shut down the plasma. All right, I'll do that. And 
I'm gonna use a momentum. Momentum. Momentum to get a third dice. Daring and engineering. That's three successes. That's a pretty good roll. Uh, so you can have one of these momentum back. Momentum. Oh, oh, damn it! I'm calling it that. <laughs> momentum. 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 <laughs> For some reason, whenever I say momentum, I, I think of um, um, uh, the song from The Simpsons, um, what they have. Monorail. 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 Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this yep. um, to improve my success. <laughs> now all I can think of is fucking Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. I'm going to use this to improve my success while I'm looking at that EPS conduit. Yeah. To see if it was a blowout or if it was an explosion that caused the oh, blowout. Okay. That's the question. Was it man made of that explosion or not? Technically, all explosions are man made except for asteroids and volcanoes, but. And geysers. Technically, stars. Uh, give me. So I use the momentum. Momentum. I use the momentum to ask the question. From now on, it's momentum. I'm calling it that. Aren't you supposed to be asking all the questions so you can get two questions answered? He's also the engineer. Oh, yeah, that's right. He knows what he's talking about, I assume. <laughs> you know, he, he, he can't allegedly. explain it, but somehow he does it and it okay, works. So tell me again what you're doing. You're using. I wanna, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm burning my momentum. Yeah. Because I'm looking at that plasma outlet. So gain information. Yeah, gain information. So okay. I want to see if that, from what I can tell from that plasma blowout, yeah. Which obviously killed these two crewmen. Yeah. Was it the plasma blowing out that killed them? Or was the problem, or did something explode and then the plasma blew out? Gotcha. Uh, from just your initial kind of like observation, it looks like it was the EPS explosion mm -hmm. that did the job. Okay. Because you can kind of see the blast line from the EPS conduit coming directly from the fusion core okay. out into the area. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. What you doing? So what else is going on? And he's locked down the plas one of the plasmas. Is there any other? Well, it's still damage? I mean, plas he hasn't done I'm anything with the EPS conduit. Yet. I'm just he's, over there trying to redirect it. it. Redirect yeah. it. Uh, do you want to assist? Yeah, I'll just assist him with that. Okay. Basically. Give me a daring and engineering as well. Getting everything not. Uh, we have in, so much momentum. I'm gonna spend the momentum. Yeah. To uh, collaborate engineering to give him engineering five. Great. Okay. I'm using a threat. Oh. I'll tell you why in a moment. To give me uh, engineering one, what? I'm gonna, use a <laughs> I'm gonna give him momentum to uh, get an extra day. It's too funny. You have engineering one, but he still has five. Yeah, exactly. There's a Woo! critical. There's a critical. Uh, four successes. Yep, four successes. Okay, so as you use your four successes, I need a daring and I need a daring and command from you, please. From both so, of hold on. Him. You can have one of these back. Okay? You can use it right away. <laughs> yeah. All right. This sounds important. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, is it control and command? Daring and command. Daring and command? Uh, there you go, all three. Yep, three successes. Oh. Vulcan's coming in hot. Vulcan's coming in hot. Vulcan's so, using momentum. Yeah. <laughs> Gurkhan. So you see Sofek kind of walk over to a station, and he's like, I will assist you, Commander. And he starts typing in something, and then you see like an alert on your screen. And just as you're allowed to say, get away from that console, yeah. the console blows up in Sofek's face. But Sofek just does kind of one of those like Matrix Vulcan <laughs> thing, and it just kind of like explodes this way. Sofek's kind of like... I like the idea of him just straight sidestepping as it blows out in front of him and standing there. Yeah. Just he goes, hmm, smells the ozone and sidesteps away. Yeah, yeah. Just sidesteps to a different console. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even stop typing. <laughs> I've got it, Commander. Um, it was damned impressive. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned for a second and I go, good work, Lieutenant. <laughs> so fact, be, be careful, these... This we entire must, station seems to be out of control. We must get these power cascades under uh, control. I'm going to attempt to rear up power through reliable EPS conduits. Sure. Um, and this is going to be... So you're essentially shutting down the plasma flow. 
Yeah, but I'm sending it to another area if there are available This is No, this is like the primary oh. EPS conduit from the fusion reactor. Fair enough. So I'm going to yeah. shut it down. Okay. Um, so testing a theory. I'm working on the same section of the ship, so I get a third base. Uh, you haven't done anything yet, so no testing a theory. I'm working on the EPS power conduits. So it's the same thing in the same same engineering section. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you haven't made Either. an EPS roll yet. Oh, fair. Then I'll just burn a momentum because we've got a million. That'll totally do. For a third dice. Yeah. Um, daring and engineering. Yes, please. Oh, that was one less. Uh, three successes. Okay, so you can have that back. Jerk. Um, <laughs> and oh. uh, you get you get you get it shut off, and you can you can redo. You figure you can between the two of you. You can probably redo partial power. Okay. Um, is it enough to get a, the shields going or no? No, there's a massive drain coming from the the core, the fusion core that's right next to you. Huge power drain. And that's where I'll pause for a second and go back up to you two. <laughs> Still hearing the Klingon singing at this point behind yeah. us. Just <laughs> ah! <laughs> strolling down this core. I, I took out my phaser. Um, I oh, assume that phaser? I have... What phaser? What phaser? Well, I guess we're at dinner. dinner. Maybe a boot knife. Boot knife? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. a, maybe a boot knife, but that'd be okay. it, yeah. Okay, all right, if all right, so I don't, I mean, Jessica, like, we, don't we you, always have those, like, remote control phasers? No, no not, not, not even a type one. Dinner. If you oh, really okay. want a phaser, I could use my captain code to unlock that lock over there. Uh, I, I think arming ourselves would be a prudent Of start. course you do. <laughs> I take out a tricorder and then okay. go to the lockbox. It's box, like I've been like, blown up several times before. Yes, yes. Just what are you going to do, stun the explosion? Just mm -hmm. twice a month. This is all over comms. <laughs> While we're working, and no, then, this isn't over comms, it's this is through over the shaft. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, you too. Do you, am this. I the only one that remembers the bomb going off in the last star um, base? Base we were yeah. on, and yeah, yeah I know. I'm pretty sure I was there. Romulus, I do remember Var uh, Var Var Varia. I lost many medals in that you hear explosion. It? You hear, yeah, huh? we remember from down here. <laughs> it gets quiet. Okay, <laughs> many I medals. was there, Alpha 160, yeah. Alpha Beta 2. We still have did the code. you write down your command of course code I so did. you remember to use the same command code for consistency? Of course. I can't remember names, but damn it, I will remember my I'm, command code. I'm, I'm so very impressed. Is, uh, uh, Captain, I recommend not saying it out loud. When <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't have a great there. memory. Wait, that was out loud? Uh, oh, God. Also, okay. He pulls up a sleeve, it's tattooed across his <laughs> So, uh, So, the... The crew deck, it's its empty at the moment because uh, it looks like everyone was either on duty or just away from this part of the section that you're in. Um, but there is probably a safer way up to where the command deck should be, another, like, Jeffrey's tube you could take. Okay. Cool. Is it, like, eerie? Is there, like, flickering lights and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because they're still on their way down and working on this. So the, while you guys are doing that task, so we're going to say it took about four hours to do what you needed to do, okay? So that gives you time to kind of, like... Okay. Perfect. Um, I'll take out the tricorder and just sort of do a scan of the area and see, because I obviously haven't memorized the plans super, to this stage. Super, super, super heavy, intense trialic radiation interference. You can't see more than a few meters in front of you. Well, that's not good. We, uh, we might need to get inoculation later, but uh, you, you oh, haven't right? really looked yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my... Oh, like well, I guess I'm not doing kids. <laughs> 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 I didn't want them anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to just kind of jog ahead of the captain a little bit and sneak around and take a look. Jeffrey Tube's that way. That'll take us up to hopefully another floor, possibly guys, command deck. As you yeah. guys finish what you're doing, I need you each to take... 14 uh, damage? No, yeah. I need you all to take reduce your maximum stress by four, each of you. Fuck berries. Excuse my language. And and it's just because you're too focused on what you were doing, and then at the end of that, that's one for every hour. And you realize then that it's like shit. It is radiation poisoning. We need to fix this. So probably to the medicine science bay up one level. Is there any? I have the small science kit. Is there any inoculation in there? Oh. You know, you rolled so damn good earlier. Let's say yes. So why don't you each burn off one of those and you can have two stress maximum instead of... No, 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 no. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That was one from the pool and all. Yeah. Sir, if those readings are correct, maybe we should find some EV suits. I do like my hair. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad suggestion. I, they should protect us somewhat against, but not for very long. Uh, we should have an inoculation. Where's the, where's the medical bay on this thing? <laughs> Try to figure out the tricorder to where, uh, where sick bay is. Uh, down. Two floors, like underneath the turbo lift. Yeah, you just hear me go. Oh, that's a long climb. <laughs> Up or down? I think at this point, if you want to keep your hair, we should go back down to the science lab. Yay! <laughs> so. <laughs> Did we have any other crew on board, sir? We, we didn't. Rix is taking the ship in Payette. Mm -hmm. We were only here for dinner. Shouldn't have even been here. It's supposed to be a three-hour tour. Nice. Um, last thing you remember seeing was uh, Johansson going and by, going into another turbo shaft. He just didn't want to ride with you. Cool. I hope he died. Well, it's quite possible he was on the command deck. I'm sure he just he wanted was to gonna ride give you a tour. Else. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, Vi, that's, she seems that kind means of important. Vi might be on the command deck, too. Yes. No. I, that is in... Yes, I already had that. Heavy flames. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, to the science labs, then. Fine. Sure. Um, so, so you head down to the science labs. As, <laughs> it, you, guys are, as you guys are going down, you can feel yourselves getting a little bit weaker. I need you to take each one, uh, one strain off your maximum. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how many I have. You have 20. Unless you've improved your stat line, then you have more. What? <laughs> what is it based off of? Fitness and security. So I've got seventeen. Plus you have a bonus for plus tough. Three. Tough for three. So yeah, so the twenty. Twenty. Okay. All yeah. right. Cool. I got eleven. As you're going down, yep. uh, you start to realize that multiple EPS conduits on the ship have exploded. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. So we, we start going down to the medical bay, and we can feel it get worse, right? Yeah. So, Captain, if we go back, if we go up to command, is what we were going to do, we will be moving away from the radiation, duh? You've already started moving down towards it, though, so you might as well get to okay. where you need to All get right. to the, and get an inoculation. Technically, the sure. radiation's coming from the sun. I thought it was Don't worry. Kind of like we, we were working on it for four hours. Oh, okay. we're, we're time dilated. We're not in the same time frame right now. Yeah. Plus, it might be easier once we get down to the medical bay to find a Jeffrey's tube that goes around so we don't have to keep climbing this damn shaft. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can find one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're, you're right, of course, sir. <laughs> okay, so we get to the science the medical base. Yeah. Give me a daring and medicine. Dozens of people dead on the station. Daring and medicine, sorry, eh? Reason and medicine. We'll reason and medicine. We don't get inoculated. Or even control. Oh, uh, reason or control is the same for me. So I'm doing my medicine's terrible, but I think I know what I'm looking for. Oh, and wow. I got four because wow, <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> you Wait. Beverly crushed that. <laughs> Hold on. It's an upper now, too. <laughs> oh, man. Can you just, like, he, like Kirk in the movies with McCoy just, like, stabbing with the hypospray? You just come up behind me and you're like, ah, stop yeah, this! Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. You can, you Why can keep the hair numb. <laughs> numb -tum? You have numb tum? Numb tum? <laughs> that, ah. whole, that whole scene was really well done. I enjoyed that. Okay, um... When do da da da? Okay. Um, uh, so actually, that that roll was incredible and well done. Uh, you can you you each stop losing your your uh, stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you realize that it's not actually coming from the sun. Oh. Da da da. It's coming from the engineering section. Uh oh. Spaghetti <laughs> Um, Internal communication are not working. Of course they're not. I was gonna, badges? Nothing works. Nothing yeah. works. It's giga um, radiation. I was going to be like, uh, I don't know if I need to use one of these for this, but um, would I know what would cause triolic radiation? No, to, don't. No. Okay. One of the first things I said was it's an unusual energy reading that's triolic radiation. They don't know what's causing it. 
but uh, now I know that it's coming from an engine. It's radiating from the engineering section. Yep. <laughs> Look over. Uh, yeah. Didn't Gurkhan and Sofek go to the engineering level? I usually is. I grab like six hypo sprays well, of like this stuff. And, oh, they're just being irradiated by things that will kill them slowly. I think we should go help them. Yeah, all right. What about the command deck, though? We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Here. I want you to go help them, and I give you like four of the hypo sprays, and I pack a couple more. Okay. I'll go to the command deck. Uh, I need to talk to you, Hanson. Sir. Yes? There could be possible conflict on the command deck. Then I suggest you hurry up. That's a captain. After just like growl, I just sprint. Like, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be pissed when she gets down there. Need your hydrate. Already taken care of. <laughs> See, which... actually, actually, we'll we'll like cut. We'll cut in yeah. time, and you walk in just as he goes. <laughs> Do you oh, right <laughs> then, just like and a he, string he, of Russian he, swearing. You hear, oh, mother commercial. Yeah. Um, and then as we come back to commercial, it's back in time a little bit. Uh, and you're going to go up. up. Yeah. So you kind of get to the top, and the command deck is completely in flames. Uh, I would like to try and activate the fire suppression system. It's completely shot. I will look for one of those stupid little <laughs> fire extinguishers. Yeah, there's one, and you see bodies everywhere. Oh, well, that do I recognize any of the bodies? Uh, or are they all just a charbroiled mess? Are you stopping at Jack? He's like, Neil, give me money. Johansson? 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 So, uh, so as, uh, as you start to, like, kind of to try and get things out, and uh, I... One of the one of the bodies moves. Oh no! I go over and and it does kind of like it does kind of like hyper uh, like um, like alien chest hugger kind of move. Oh the yeah, like the spasm thing. Yeah. Um, I'm not that great at medicine, but life signs. Ah, uh, it's dead. There is a life sign there, though. Yeah. Oh. The body's dead, but there's a life sign inside mm -hmm. the body? Well, there's a life sign there, and the body's dead. That's all I said. No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> trying to go through my Star Trek history and see what... Nuke this from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only that way didn't sure. work. <laughs> Except, we'll quantum torpedo this station <laughs> from, okay. once we get back. Um, get, I, I would like body? to... No, I want to scan this. It it's says there's a life sign. There's man. nothing interference. I don't want to touch this thing. Is there like a stick or a pole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally going to be like, no. Ten foot you're stick. Like, no. Ten you're going like, to like, kind of lever it up. And as you do, you're like, oh. And it rolls over and it looks like it was at one point a Vulcan. And you get just a glint of blue. Um, and it looks like probably a science officer. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like this Vulcan had dodged in front to cover up the body of Johansson. Oh. So I roll it off and there's a Johansson there's underneath? There's Johansson right there. Damn. I mean, really, yes. Really, 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 really faint life signs. I thought it was a trill. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I was like, where can I save history? No, nope, just Johansson. Uh, I'll start to use what I have on me from what I gathered to... Uh, oh, there should be a first aid kit on the station on this deck oh yeah there should so, be but everything is blown to shit so oops <laughs> well i'll see what i got on me to see if i can help him okay. why did you not grab anything for the medical bay he gave it all to me yep i've got like just a rainbow except for the like you use some of these <laughs> except i if they're suffering from trial and radiation i can definitely help with that that's right uh, third degree burns over 97% of their body. I mean, there's well, I need a, a, a part I need a daring in medicine. All right. Um, oh, damn. Are the computers still functioning? Can we use no, the hologram doctors? Ah, he's using the threat. not right, right, up yet. <laughs> I'm adding a complication of uh, another explosion on the bridge. Also, you said while I'm trying to save him. Yeah, it looks like med, every med single oh, really? EPS. That's where they had the hollow projectors. That, that, uh, patch that thing sounds made him horrendous. That, I'm going to use a momentum for a third dice to try and help him. Uh, only one failure. So that's two successes. My, my medicine's one. Yeah. 
Most of our minutes is one. Two successes? Two successes. Two no critical failures, even yeah. with the complication. Yeah. Combat medic. Okay. He's stable, but he needs surgery. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> Blow your phaser. It's kind of okay. He kind of like, he kind of like wakes up too. <laughs> He's like and as he kind of just like, he kind of like does that really like, that Faint. It, like it's hard for him to open his eyes and he looks and all you hear is, oh, no, not you. <laughs> and you hear me go, oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, the captain's got a boot knife because I gave him one. Don't know if he's wearing it, though. Apparently I got a phaser now, too. Because um, we all, I, I made okay. nice boot knives that can fit beautifully under our uniforms and are classy. The the command deck has still got the hole that goes down the tube, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, everybody, catch! No, just gonna. <laughs> just Dear Lord. Yell, yell, yell down the the shaft. No, it's nothing. No, uh, it's too far down. They'll get up here in a second. Uh, is there any of the computer consoles on the command deck that are working? I mean, you could use your tricorder that you've got now. Then patch into the system. It does work well, so well. No, well, it doesn't work well, but yeah. works better than trying to use a blown out. Con, uh, console. I Do I see any work. other non-Starfleet personnel amongst the the, the bodies? You gonna take a look? Yes. You looking for the hot green one? I want to know if uh, it, it, my supposition <laughs> if is if there would also be hot. Still. If there was, if Ooh. there's no <laughs> other dead people, this could have been a trap. Yeah. No, there are none. Hmm. Mm. I am now suspicious, mm. like I wasn't before. But I'll try and. Uh, Tie in the tricorder to see if I can actually communicate with any of them. Okay. Uh, which one first? Figure out what happened or con communicate with them? Communicate with them. Okay. Give me a daring and engineering. <laughs> okay. Better than the medicine one. Nice. Nice. That's two successes. All right. So you can do it. It's going to take a couple it's minutes for tonight. the computer to kind of reroute and rewire it. So it's Tim Allening itself. It's rewired. Pretty much. Yeah. No. Yeah. More no. power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, in the meantime, why don't we give you, uh, give me a reason in engineering to see if you can figure out what happened. Oh, multitasking. I love it. Nope. Wow. Nope. Yeah, the most, the most that you can tell is what you can see. So there's massive feedback. Just buy another, multiple just explosions buy another D20? Yes. Well, I could buy another no, but I can use a daring to re-roll, yes? Sure. But what's your value? What value? Uh, I'm going to use... Oh, those are my values. Hmm, nothing better than practical experience. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You've been right. in the... <laughs> that didn't work, and because that thing's exploded, I should probably... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm nope, that's... Girl. That is... <laughs> That is one success. Is that, is that a critical fail? That is yeah. one success and one critical fail. Yes. One Good. success and one critical fail. Okay. So okay. as you're as you're kind of like down on it, uh, it's down on it. <laughs> it's down on it. Uh, uh, he starts humming that song and the computer shuts off. <laughs> Your voice is horrible. Garbage. The computer just. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Zanny. How do you know my name? Um, I'm sorry, Zanny. Can't allow you to sing anymore. Turn off. Yeah. Unrecognized command. <laughs> Proceeding with evacuation. <laughs> Firing photon torpedoes at nearest target. USS Payette targeted. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, wait, so wait. as you're as you're <laughs> as you're like trying to figure out what's going on, uh, another EPS blows, <laughs> um, and the 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 turbo shaft is now inaccessible. <laughs> you're fucking stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Trapped like a rat in a cage. Been here before. And you hear, you hear, uh, you hear, like, you swear to this day, Johansson was like, good. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut your pie hole, you failed astrophysics. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to take a break here. We'll take our commercial break. Um, <laughs> Just here. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as we do, uh, I'll let you guys try to figure out what you want to do next. Um, because there's multiple things happening. Uh -huh. I'm going to fix it. I know you're going to fix it, but you're going to try. You're going to try. Okay. It's not my ship, so, so I don't know all the secrets that I installed in the background. Exactly. I uh, can try. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll be back in about five minutes.
Okay, so you've begun to, uh, what was it, Epsilon 119? Did I just screw up the name of the station right off the bat? I think it was just Epsilon 19. Yeah, I have yeah, Epsilon, Epsilon 19. 19. And uh, you're just delivering scientific equipment. Uh, you realize that your old rival from the academy who was a uh, commander. Uh, you saw Vi, uh, who seemed to not acknowledge you. It's fine. Um, but now that now and then and then you were gonna go do uh, uh, check out the bridge of the or the command center of the of the station. And there was a massive explosion that ripped through the station, destroying the command center and throwing the station into emergency power. Uh, you broke up, you went down to the emerg uh, engineering, you two started heading up to the command center. Uh, you two found out that there was trialic radiation coming through uh, and realized that there was massive EPS conduit explosions. Uh, you two, and then kept working on trying to figure out what it was that did it. Mm -hmm. You two figured out that uh, the trialic radiation was not coming from the sun this time, but was coming from engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, you found some inoculations. Uh, you sent uh, <clears throat> Yasikov yes, down to do an inoculation of your crew in the engineering deck, but as the, she got there, uh, Steph, uh, so so Sofek had already like himself figured it out. Uh, so she swore, and we went to commercial break. Um, and then you got to the command center yep. and found Johansson had uh, been saved by one of his crew. Mm -hmm. uh, barely. And he's barely alive. Yep. And now I'm... surgery. And you're trying to figure out what to do as an EPS explosion happens and kind of traps you up there. Yep. Well, through the turbo shaft. Like the... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to you two. What would you like to do? Um, well... What have you figured out so far? I'm postulating that the same sort of drain that's been happening on the sun is now happening in the core. Yeah, you realize that that's accurate. Yeah. So Not a postulation, it is. So, I'm going to go, oh, well, Lieutenant Sofek, maybe you can access some of the files from the science that's division right. and see what they have researched on this phenomenon, because I believe we are currently experiencing the same thing within the core. I can attempt to try and access from one of the consoles here. Thank you. That'll help us get us a head start. And what I'm going to do is attempt to reroute power into force fields into our little area to try to stop as much of the radiation coming off the core to our workstation. Oh, okay. Um, so why don't you do the, tri the core thing first? Okay. So rerouting power, a DPS. We just do... You Probably can just do like a containment field around the core. Uh, well, or is it all? I mean, even if it's, don't know how much can leak through that, but yeah, containment field in essence, either around the core or around us. And I'm going to attempt this, and this is what do you want me to roll? Daring and engineering. All right. Uh, EP, <laughs> EPS. So, so, serious drama dice, yeah. right? Mm. I'm rewriting power through EPS power conduits yeah. for this, so four successes. Okay. I. Uh, so no momentum. Okay. As as you get it up and realize that the power is draining from the fusion reactor as fast as it's draining from the sun. Okay. The fusion reactor does not have as much power as the sun. Mm -hmm. um, you will lose this containment field very quickly. Um, I'm also, uh, I, I hit my comm and I go, uh, Lieutenant Gurkhan to Captain. Captain uh, responding. Come see me. So through super static, you can pick them up. But I want you guys to try to play it like, try and get each other like maybe five words and not a full sentence. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you can convey an idea to each yeah. other, but I don't want you actually giving each other full like structured information. So yeah, yeah I'm going Captain, we train core son. <laughs> cool. Gur Gur <laughs> <laughs> what say it We believe same as son. So what Energy, same. Drain. 
<laughs> Massive energy. Training sun like. So you see, we pause right here yeah. as you kind of like swivel over to Sofek, who's like. <laughs> <laughs> Like just staring at her god. I'm not like, saying those words. No, no, I know, yeah. I know. I know, it's just the conversation goes, and yeah. Sofek's like, send a text. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm one-fingering the text yeah, on the yeah, tracker. Yeah. I do not understand this device. Um, we'll say that you guys are going to, eventually, you'll figure it out. Yeah. You're going to get it. You're not both, you're, you're both uh, have been on uh, missions together before. But in the meantime, what would you like to do? Um... So I was trying to access research logs. Look at referencing. What was I referencing again? Uh, whatever we should say I've already done on the same radiation yeah. and see if there's anything that can push us in the right direction. Yeah, see if there's any... I don't know if there's any indication of like modifications I can do to prevent whatever is draining the core. Okay. So some of the things that you've noticed from the more intensive scans that they did uh, shows that superheated gases are simply vanishing at the precise areas where trialic waves are being emitted. Yeah, but nothing on like how to block the trialic waves or I guess prevent them from, because they're essentially just appearing the so the superheated the gases are disappearing and the trialic waves are appearing. Hmm. So, okay, so it's like basically an exchange. <sighs> but it's not the radiation causing them to disappear. I gotta see. I'm gonna study the the research material and see if there's any other kind of emissions or radiation apart from triolic. I. Uh, so there's there's not. But why don't you give me an insight and? Well, I'll tell you what. You can either roll. You can either roll. Uh, insight and science. And you can risk complications and also more momentum. Or you can give me that single momentum sitting in the pool there for more information. Okay, to roll it in. Three successes. Yep, three successes. Three successes. Okay. So you remember the last time that a Federation person dealt with trialic waves. Do you remember it? Is it the is it the stupid dimensional entities? It's it's the it's the Mark Twain episode, isn't it? I knew I heard that from somewhere. Thought it was that. And what did they need to do to see them? Oh. I mean, some sort of particle, wasn't it? Phase variance. Yeah. Phase variance. Ooh. All right, I'm going to uh... do science to it. So you're not going to give that to me for more information? You're just going to accept that you know what it is and you're good to go? I mean, that's fine. I'm just asking. No, you're trying to pull GM bullshit on me right now. Bit, so I'm going like... to keep that. No. Okay. I'm going to... Um... Well, it's been hard this session. We need everything. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to modify my tricorder to... Or oh, it was emitting the phase variation that allowed us to see the aliens. Or was it detecting the phase variance? I'm trying to remember the episode now. You lost me at Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs> they had to. They had to. They you had to. They had to emit a phase variance. You had to. So you have to set up like things to create a phase variance of a number. Gurkhan sees me just walk straight to one of the engineering cabinets. I'm just gonna start grabbing. There's probably phase emitters in engineering somewhere. I mean, sure, why not? Probably. It's everyone's Star Trek MacGuffin. Sure, why not? Fine. 
Yeah, you find three of them. Yeah, yeah three of them. <laughs> uh, but Gurkhan's going to have to drop the uh, barrier to get close to the fusion reactor. Gurkhan, I have an idea to solve our power drain problems. However, I'll need you to drop He's the like <laughs> I'm like, whatever you need. Dro wait, drop, drop. Time. You want me to drop the force field? Protecting us from all this massive radiation. Yes, so, and as you look at me, I'm just injecting me myself with some of the six hypo Yeah, there's also like a pile of I, I reach out and go, shall I be injecting myself as well? I'm gone. I I'm drop like, I'm reaching <laughs> towards him. I, I grab him and I go, I put one against my neck and I hold another one against the other side <laughs> while I get ready to hit the button. Like, Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Empty at this point. So, uh. I'm slightly loopy because my blood's more medicine than blood now. <laughs> right? Uh, so you you get it set up, um, and, uh, give me a daring and in science. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh do science to it. Phase variance would have, have to do with sensors, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, then two successes. Okay. Uh, so it is a phase variance of 0 0.004. A positive phase variance. So as you set it, uh, you see the kind of like outline of, they look like, um, well, it's essentially just glowing humanoid outline. Right? Mm. Oh. These aren't humanoid. You see a bunch of like uh, they look kind of like um, like mudfish, mm, suckerfish on the core. Yeah. What else? We really need to watch that episode. It's, it's weird. A, it's a good episode. There's like tens of them on this it's thing. Tens. There are dozens. Tens of fifties. Dozens. Fifties of hundreds of pounds. We must remove these entities from the core. They are the source of the draining. Hey, do you want to check the sun while you're at it? I don't think he has The sun's enough. not going anywhere, and the sun's not about to blow up in our face. That you know of. Yeah, no. He did yeah, say that it's... True. Accelerating? Like accelerating. <laughs> I don't want to die. Do you remember what they did? To... Do we have... Are there still active sensors? Barely. Oh, no. oh great. Well, I'm going to barely point them at the sun. Well, as you do, uh, you actually don't even need to. You can go through the history of the stuff you've found. Yeah. When you apply the phase variance to the sensor readings, there's probably uh, hundreds, maybe even thousands of these things attached to the sun. Oh, okay. That's what's causing the... Yeah. And it looks like they're breeding. Genocide. Or spawning, genocide. so it looks almost genocide. like um, finding their own mini groups. <laughs> it's not genocide; it's just mass murder. Yeah, mm -hmm. the So the the smaller ones, the smaller ones are like fairly small. The largest of of the ones you see, and only one is this size in the ship, is up to a meter in diameter and like two two three meters in length. The really really big mudfish. And that's on the sun, or is that on the core? There's one on the core that big, and it seems to be spawning little ones that seem to be increasing the speed of the degradation of the core. Right. Remove that variable first. Got it. Send them home. Can we sour the milk somehow? As you kind of like, like, so you set up those patterns, and they kind of like, and then you see the smaller ones start to break off from the core, and it looks like they're going for the EPS conduits. And they're going for the control panels, and one kind of makes a grab for your tricorder. So it looks like they're kind of spawn. It's using the energy to spawn, and then they're going off to grab other things, which is probably what caused all the explosions at once, because there's a whole bunch of them attached to stuff all around. Gurkhan, can we alter the phase variance of the energy in the fusion core? Um, I don't see why not, Lieutenant. What is, what is, what are those creatures on the core? 
as I just look yeah. over them. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't see why now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you suggesting? <laughs> they are the source of our draining issue. Um, and I'm assuming you want me to kill or drive them off? Ideally, yes. Um, I can look into it, and then I start researching what the variance of the core itself is, and then I try to slowly change the frequency of the pulses. Okay. I go lower, then lower, then higher, and I go, let's see if I can figure out a point where they start to squawk. So this is, this is going to take some rolls. I want both of you to, like, off, off camera, because I'm going to go to these two now. Yeah. So I want you guys to each make me, you're going to make me, uh, daring and science, and you're gonna make a daring and engineering. Uh, no, reason and engineering for you. Okay. Because you're doing your reasoning, to, right? Like so, literally reasoning the the information. Um, and give me two each. And when I come back, I want you to tell me the first set of successes and the second. Okay. To you two. Okay. So uh, you meet up. We, you don't meet up. You you get to the bottom of the turbo shaft just as the last EPS conduit blows, and you can see each other kind of like just as it kind of does that. <laughs> it looks weak. What looks weak? The, the explosion? EPS explosion. The energy coming off of it looks weaker than it should, almost as if something is siphoning off the energy. Yeah. Does, for this. does uh, the bit that fell in front of us is rolls, it like um, there's no way we're moving like that one. no you could so it's not a bit that fell in front it's a it's, it was like one of those explosion streams right so it's still going yeah but ah. it looks really weak hmm. so you can kind of make each other out looking down and up at each other um, you're one deck apart uh, you could try and find another Jeffy's tube there's more than one way on and off a, a command deck yeah. I, I was thinking before that happened, is there, um, do I have access to maybe shut it off, power to that particular one? Oh. Why don't we see? Uh, give me a reasoning and engineering. That's one success. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you, you find it. Do I know if it's accessible by me or no, is it? No, you can do it. Okay. I'm going to see if I can like <laughs> crank that valve and shut this thing off. Yeah. So this is a zero roll. You can do it. Mm. If you want to roll, you risk complication, but you can also gain momentum. Oh. And it's a, a reason engineering or something like that. Mm hmm. Cool. One success. No critical failures. I'll there take you a freebie. Go. Wow, I actually did the ultimate no no and didn't turn my phone to silent. I'm so sorry, everyone. But I'm not complaining. One, once okay. it's off, my head just comes out over the shaft like you. You okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm like, you're, what's going on up there? Do you need me, sir? Yeah, your highness is burned to a crisp. I Most guess. people are dead. Um, it's getting weird. Just come up. Okay. You see me like disappear and then run back in and just leap and just start like climbing up as fast as I can. <laughs> I got a weird communication from Gurkhan, something about energy draining sun life. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I got a text. Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was busy with an explosion. Push myself up and like roll over onto the ground and just lie there for a second, like breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> you see my head come into frame and be like. Haven't you been working out? I thought. Anyway, Varia looks jacked from all the vascularization from climbing. <laughs> yeah. Just a pump beyond belief. <laughs> you haven't, you haven't heard from the ship. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna Good. read her the info that he sent me, which is basically is that like there's something wrong. It's the same thing that's happening to the sun. There's a drain and there's trialic information or trialic radiation coming from the core. I have every faith that Gurkhan and Sofet can figure this out, but we need to make sure these people are going to live through the next four hours. There is one person. This person is going to live in the <laughs> next four hours. Yeah. Um, I fireman carry it. Well, I'll like, go over and check him out. <laughs> You're yeah. better than me. First. Her. Her. Um, fireman I'm just going to make sure he off. isn't broken. Okay. Uh, 
And what is this? Ooh. Yikes. Uh, You're gonna be fine. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an insight, and, uh, insight and medicine. No stranger to violence. Okay. Did okay. you roll a twenty? No. Yeah, if you did for the I first did, one. I did. Yeah, for, for the, the first, first one. one. So that's two successes. Okay. As you can tell, me and Stefan both have lost determination as well. Then. Yep. And you've used up determination. Yes. Okay. Our rolls were bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, death requires surgery. Okay, um, but can stable. I move him? You can move okay. him. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I just, like, fire him and carry this And guy. at this point, it's either move him or leave him here to continue to burn, right? Like, Yeah, of course. You might, it's yeah. worth the, yeah. Sure. Um, so I'm going to fire him and carry him, and as I, like, pick him up, I'm looking around for Vi. No, you don't see her at all. Okay. Um, do I know it's, at this point, it's hopeless to stay on the command deck? Like, this is going to yeah. burn. Cool. Let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Um, there, you said there's a Jeffrey's tube. Yep. Yeah. Leads down to the crew quarters. Psst. Huh? No one there. I'll go first, because you can, you're easier to carry. You got it. Go. <laughs> okay. Start crawling through. More like drag. Yeah. All right, so you get down to the crew deck, and as you're kind of like going through, uh, you are heading for the main Terminal shaft, or do you want to head to the transporter room? Like, where uh, do you want to go at this point? Medical bay. <laughs> Down two more floors to the science lab from the medical bay. At this point, if we're going to save this fellow's life, we might as well, yeah. But let's, I don't, we, we can't go down the turbo shaft, so we're going to have to take the long way around. Yep, so you're kind of doing like a weed back, back and forth. Yeah. This. As you pass by one of the crew quarters, you hear, you hear like bashing on one of the doors. Uh, let's see if we can get the emergency release open. Yes, uh, fitness and security. I shall assist, sir. Uh, you're holding the. I, well, I mean, like I can just down? Like, gen. Well, are we like vertical or no, 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 horizontal? No, no, no. You're on. You're on. You're on one of the main decks. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll gingerly put him okay. down and then help. I got uh, Success. two successes. That's three overall. Okay. Uh, so you guys. The two of you pull down this crank and the door kind of, mm. and as it does, a whole bunch of noxious gas comes pouring out at you because oh, neither one of you checked your tricorders. Nope. Um, both of your maximum uh, stress is down by another two, and uh, Vi drops in front of you. God. The Nausicans are like out in the in the in the room behind her. They're just they're just done. One of them, let's say, its face is melted off from oh, the plasma God. explosion. Okay, I'm gonna get my leg like, arm up and I'll grab her with the other arm and drag her out away from the door. All right, she's just wheezing, and and all she can get out is my hero. <laughs> and then she gives later. you like a wink, <laughs> and then passes out. Really? I, I, I looked at her. Check to see if she needs CPR. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Varya, so that hurt. <laughs> yeah. You know what? One strain. <laughs> the anchor captain hearing this goes, nice. <laughs> <laughs> After she hits me, it's a legit question. You know more about it than me. <laughs> okay. Um, so at this point, I'm going to need you guys together. So we're going to yeah. say that uh, uh, let's get them stable. Yeah. On med beds yeah. in medical bay. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but then there's nothing else you two can do because neither one of you are doctors. Nope. Yeah. So the most you can do is go and see if you can help make sure that power stays going to these bays. Okay. Okay. So the four of you can congregate just as you two finish. Yeah. So my first roll was a one and a critical failure. So, so tell me what the tell me what the process was was. So I was again just tweaking the the, the frequency at the core. Mm -hmm. So whatever the pulses of the core, just tuning it down, tuning it down, thinking that if I go into a deeper wavelength, these creatures might not find it so appealing. And then, again, going one step down, then maybe one step up, then two steps down, then two steps up. So you hear the core going, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like a bad drum Pretty much, facial. yeah. Like, it's going, like, it's, like, you can, like, you know how the, the warp DJ core Gurga, pulses? drop that beat. Yeah. Um, so my eventual dive rolls were three successes and then two successes. Okay. Cool. And how about you? Uh, so while he's doing that, how are you assisting? Or were you trying something else? Um, like a plan no, B, uh, just in case. I was assisting him with basically looking at the sensors and 
phase variances to see how the creatures were reacting because he's hunched over a console doing nice. this. I'm saying okay. like they're more agitated, less agitated. Medium? <laughs> Medium? <laughs> uh, so using my sensors focus, I got two successes each roll. Okay. Uh, so as you guys are doing this, you do find a spot where the power no longer becomes something that they want. And you see them all kind of detach. And, and the power kind of dims for a second. And then slowly goes up to like half, maybe even a quarter power. So it looks like whatever you did to change the phase variance of the energy output mm -hmm. is affecting the actual overall energy output. It's like uh, you're running the car on a five RPMs without changing the gear. Running right? it on dirty gas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so the, so the ship couldn't the the station couldn't really operate for very long, but the creatures all leave the area that you can see at the. Mm -hmm. So what's what uh, I ask Gurkhan? Gurkhan, what phase variance did we finalize? Uh, so we running at current. So the creature loved it at point zero zero four. I'm going to say it's at point two five. Okay. Plus so or negative. Negative point two five. So it's a ways down. Mm -hmm. Not point zero two five. Just point two five. And you guys come in just as you kind of like you come in the door. Just as you come in the door, you see that big one meter diameter. Two, two meter uh, long Ugh. sucker fish phased variant thing peel off from the fusion core and then float off into space. Which what in chaos was that? And disappear as it leaves the trialic field. Um, but as we figured out, the first thing I'm doing is I'm desperately sending a message to the Payette engineering core and saying, put the core to this phase variance now. And hoping that it makes it Hoping through. that it makes it. He goes, Lieutenant Commander Gurkhan, do it or die, kapla. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. They can die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you beat me. I was going to do a tight beam transmission, too. I'm, I'm texting. So it took me 30 seconds to type. Gurkhan, While he's do doing that, I've already done a tight beam off. Gurkhan okay. yells. He doesn't type. So as power comes back to the station, limited power, but you're able to focus the sensors onto the sun and you can see these hundreds of thousands of these things hundreds two thousands not hundreds of thousands no it's a big circle let's it's, do that it's lots but every time one of the big ones all the little ones are just kind of going out into space yeah my oh. how do you deal with this captain that's an excellent question how did you deal with this what is this you can pretend you give me the sit right. Dimensional beings invading sun variants. I mean, now that you know what's going on, you could set the ship's phasers to that variance, or we can try to change the entire sun's variance, which I believe is something that me, Lieutenant Sofek, could pull off. If, but if, if, if five years give and take, then they're getting this. However, <laughs> I'm already, I'm already schematicing a plan. Like the creatures would become an epidemic three by the time we adjust the sun. Torpedoes. Where did they come from? He said another dimension. Here's the thing. Very specific. I am afraid I was not able to access the address of their home dimension while I was altering the phase variance. <laughs> yes, I'm sure how, the mirror you know. <coughs> Sorry, never, ignore that. How do we send them back if we don't know where they came from? don't know if we can send them back, but we can get them off the sun. If we get them off the sun, are they most likely just to go somewhere else? Well, theoretically, we could bring another core over here, put it into the honey zone that they like, let them eat on that and not eat on the core and on the sun anymore. Then we can study these creatures at leisure. Not quite at leisure. The core would be depleted eventually. I, eventually. I don't think we have enough core to compete with a star. The well, creatures seem to be spawning relatively quickly. Give me a science. Uh, Inside reason. science? Reason. reason. Oh, good. <laughs> His stats. Yeah, Two successes. This star that is specific. is the fourth time you've rolled the same number on both dice. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's bizarre. It's 12. Uh, it's efficient. So, so this star seems to be unique. There are very few of these stars in, let's say, in the known galaxy. 
that's part of the reason why they built the station around it. Why they figured maybe the trial of waves was a result of this. And uh, the creatures were just coming to the station fusion reactor since even it though matched. it's not, or even if it's not exactly like the star, it wasn't as uh, crowded feeding. And area. it was close enough to be okay, but it wasn't perfect, which is why the EPS glowed. Essentially, you're looking at either a mix between like a viral swarm meets salmon in a spawning area. So what would happen if we just left them alone? The sun potentially would explode fairly quickly. But if there's no feeding ground within distance of this star, would they even make it? We well, would have to put in a quarantine zone around the, the could, area. They would scatter. That is correct. And they would eventually okay. find something else. Like another fusion core, or another ship's reactor of another species, or even possibly a more primitive species and cause nuclear disasters possibly on the planet. Uh, yeah. Also, I do not see a quarantine zone being effective as the creatures simply go through bulkheads. The. However, it is also plausible that they would simply return to their own dimension as the star is basically a prime buffet for them as opposed to simply any energy source. Do you think that's what drew them here? It is most likely. As you would say, it's a logical conclusion. I'd rather not commit genocide on, an, <laughs> on a species of unknown origin from a dimension that we do not understand. We do not necessarily so I have to kill them with phasers. Just, <laughs> as I said before, <laughs> give them a little slap and go home. You don't have to have the power can, at full. Can ships phasers just stun them? I could also... Just lower the intensity of... Yeah. I could also like attempt no to modify phase. the deflector beam to emit, on the Payet, to emit phase variance pulses to... Drive them home? Yes, as you put it. That's a much better idea. At least somebody around here is thinking, not me, but at least one person is. Can we contact... Have we contacted the Payet? <laughs> Yes. Could you maybe yeah. run up and down. You hear, you hear, uh, you hear, uh, uh, who is in, who is the... Rix. Rix. Is Rix the noble and Rix is there? Yeah. 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 Wait, Rix was in command? Of course I'm a, he's a lieutenant commander. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, ex excuse me, excuse me, uh, hello? Hello? Captain, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, lieutenant commander. Oh, Rix. thank goodness. Oh, captain. It has been quite a day, let me tell you. Quite a day. I understand, Rick. So I, we've had Did one. Did you ourselves. know there's these giant Rick? space alien things sucking off of the sun? In fact, three of them were suckling off of our warp core just a few hours ago. I will tell you, Gurkhan's team is so good. They are so good. They are so good. They managed to to to. I Rick's? don't know. They, Rex, they made it so that this whole... I like, yell, Lieutenant yes, Commander sir, sir. Rick, <laughs> let the captain speak. Oh, I'm so sorry, Captain, please. Hi. Uh, we're here. We're, we're, we're not that great. We're at low power, but we're here. We're in orbit around the station. Thank you, Rex. We will need you to transport two uh, personnel from the uh, medical base. They require immediate uh, medical attention. Let uh, Commander uh, Lieutenant Commander Valik uh, know that there's... Uh, that there... One is suffering from some sort of gaseous asphyxiation. The one other is the commander of the station. He's burned. Now, you got the message, I assume, from Sofek about changing the warp core's frequency? No. The engineering team got it, Captain. I sent it to the, directly to the engineering team. You've modified your warp core frequency, yeah, yes? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Like I said, your cons team just knew what to do. It was pretty really good. impressive. We're going to have to do something similar for the sun, so I'm going to need you to transport uh, myself, Sofek, your con, and uh, Jessica back to the ship. All right. You can send your con straight to engineering. He'll know what to do. As I hear we're getting transported, I take my jacket off. Like, so you don't zip it just as you don't zip <laughs> Yeah, because it's my work, it's my dress code. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and you come out of the beam as you're like, then continue to peel it off and just drop it on the floor. And I'm wearing that gray, whatever that The is. undershirt? Yeah, 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 undershirt, yeah. Undershirt. I drop my, uh, my sash, I throw back over top of all my medals. I'm like, I'm not letting that hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so far, could you get, as we're, uh, 
As we reach the bridge, I just say, Silver, get working on the deflector. Rex, good job. Yesiko, can you support a, uh, a team to go over and assist the station? Before? What can I do, sir? Beagle, <laughs> good to see you. Didn't hit the red button, Commander. Yes, well, one day. At ease, Beagle. <laughs> Captain, have we ascertained, ascertained the uh, status of the Lieutenant Commander's um, acquaintance's freighter? That was near the station. No, perhaps you should scan for that. <laughs> scan for the freighter. Hmm. Not doing well at dead in space. Mm -hmm. It's still there. It's exactly the same as we saw it last time. Beagle, see if you can open up a communication to that freighter. Yes, There's Cope. no power to it, sir. Yes, Cope, would you like to take a team to that freighter and see if you can help them? There's no life sign, sir. Is there any good news? Anyone? Anyone? I mean, it didn't blow up, sir. Cool. Well, we need to see if there are any more life signs on the station as well. There's I can't... a few others, and we'll say that your transporter team has already been in the water. Good. We should. Uh, I would still like to see what is on that ship. She was here for some reason. Feel free to take a team. Rex, you can go with her with Jessica. He's got science operations. Um, Very profile. good. Yes. Rix was very useful on the uh, Klingon planet. Okay. In the meantime, Sofik, Kirkon, get working on that deflector so we can get these things off the sun. So you guys have now uh, completely come up with an idea that's not even close to what's... <laughs> so we're on the fly, as is uh, the usual. Um, and uh, since we've only got about five minutes left... Mm. Sure. Um, do you mind if I kind of narrate? Yeah. Go for it. Cool. So on the ship... You find stolen Federation equipment. Yeah, my of course you do. Uh, yeah, <sighs> and you're fairly certain that that all the stuff that they gifted to Johannes yeah. was probably also stolen equipment. We'll cool. um, beam it back onto the pirate. <laughs> the Federation, the Federation stuff? stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and uh, um, there are a couple of her team. In one of those, I would I would imagine that there would be like um, like a, instead of a bomb shelter on on Earth, we'd have like there'd got to be some sort of like Safe yeah. protected pods, right? Like, yeah. so we'll say that a couple of them have managed to get into those, um, and we'll say that they're kind of like low intensity safety rooms, so okay. that it's I can't think of anything else at the moment. It just makes yeah. sense that there would be something like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, Not quite escape pods, but like. Safety. Yeah, yeah like, there's bits. a there's a name for them, and I can't remember. Neither can I. Yeah. But safe anyways, room. there's safe room. Yeah, sure. there was yeah. a movie based on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, from the twenty first century, twentieth century. Um, so you find, uh, let's say, half of our entire crew. Okay. Um, most of them are Ryan. Mm -hmm. Um, one Nosk and one Gorn, because I always thought they were cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're they're there. And okay. Do you arrest them or no? I'll see if any of them are hurt. No. Uh, okay. And once you once you apply the same thing to their ship, it yeah. slowly starts to recharge power. Okay. Uh, I see that you have recovered some items from uh, the station. I'd be happy to bring them back to the station for you. So the corn is like, uh, yo, oh, oh, okay. Mm, yes. Thank thank you for finding those for <laughs> us and. Helping us return them. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it tries to smile and it's just yeah. like almost that nerdy, like, oh god, stop, right? Like, so I'll be back with all the stuff. <laughs> stop now. <laughs> okay. Terrible. So, yeah. so then, do you two, I, I tell me what it is that you have planned. Like, so, the deflector dish, which we love to use a lot on all of our ships you to do. the point where it blows out, I'm going to apply the phase variant and have it be like a shotgun, firing those frequencies wow, out wow, into wow, space. Wow, wow, wow. Pulsing it out into space. Wow, wow, wow. Into, well, not at the sun. Well, uh, towards the sun. On the frequencies that are not the attractive ones at the sun to try to, like, overpower the sun's frequencies. So, are you... Oh. I was just going to do a pulse. Yeah, so are you, you're trying to you're trying to put them send them back to their own dimension, right? Yeah. Okay. So essentially, you're trying to do like the <laughs> you're spraying the can of raid at the yeah. last nest. Yeah. 
Exactly. That, that was, yeah. what? But it's less of a spray, according to Stefan, and more, it's more of, of a, a fire firecracker hose. thrown at it and boom. Yeah. Well, okay. it's kind of like you don't want to eat when there's a fire engine right next to you. Basically yeah, yeah, yeah. screaming at you. Yeah. That's what it's like. Modify the deflector. It's like, oh, I'm just going to send out a pulse of this energy frequency at this phase variance. Okay. Every like two seconds or whatever. Yeah. Ooh. So. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. Uh, why don't you give me a science and. Oh. This would be a daring in science, and both of you, I think. Or you would be doing a daring in engineering in order well, to, like, create TV. the thing. You know what I mean? And that's to just succeed? Jerry rig. You, to jerry rig? Jerry rig. I succeed so for a scene. Why do we need to jerry rig it? If you do that, you blow do out this. the deflector dish. Please don't blow out my deflector yeah, dish. Yeah, the deflector dish. <laughs> anyway, you don't need to jerry rig it. You, you don't have any spares. It's a deflector people. dish. No, we don't have a spare. Fine, I'm doing that to add a third dice. I'm doing that to add a third dice. So big just working at the console. I was like, you're con- what? Fix the core! <laughs> he's, he's all in like, like, like titanium beams. Like the, what are you doing? What are you doing? I have a bag just full of disruptor pistols. If I fire them all simultaneously. <laughs> I'm just like doing Didn't frequency modulation and you're bolting on. Why are you putting... Those are unnecessary. We do Why? not need a spoiler on the deflector. Why <laughs> did you transport an entire year's worth of antimatter into the core? Yeah. Uh, more power. Yeah. Uh, daring engineering? Daring engineering. Uh, that's, I'm assuming this has to do with either Hold EPS. Right. Okay. Shipboard engineering? Yeah. I have four successes. Okay. You can add a success. All right. Uh, to yours. Three successes, though. Three? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you guys send out your fire engine. Um, and how long do you keep it going? Like, till you see it effective? Yes. Okay, so you send it out, and it looks like Shit, it's not working. And then slowly you see the number of them on the surface. And they just kind of like flip out. Uh, I, ac I access the sensors to see, is the decay rate decreasing? Yeah, slower and slower and slower. And then eventually it starts to slowly come back up. It appears to be working, Captain. Uh, in order for this to probably continue to work you're gonna have to set up some sort of emitter beacon does it modify a class three probe use a class two <laughs> i don't want they, they actually might do very different things go with the scientist idea <laughs> a class three probe is okay no, just no, bigger no, meaner just, probe. Yeah. huh class threes are the bigger ones that They're can the stay here ones? indefinitely cool class three it is well, dude. yeah I thought it went the inverse. I thought, I thought a class one, one was we'll a, figure it out. Anyways. Whatever, whatever the best one is. I'm gonna say yes. That's my suggestion. Use probe. the best one. <laughs> Use the best one. All right, you modify a probe and leave it in here. I uh, apply a subspace signal or two. Beacon. Don't come near here. Well, so the station is still operable. It's just got to be fixed. But I'm just saying, don't come near here. By and, order of and the scientists that you do save, a couple of them come down and help you and realize what this is, and they're like, so I can't tell if we just interfered or not. In what? Well, I mean, if they had destroyed their fuel source, their feeding source, they might have just gone extinct. We may have just made them have to find something new now. Interesting. I'd be fascinated to stay here and like twiddle with this pulse you've made and see if we can bring some back and control how many are here. Fire, Prometheus, Danger, Adam, Eve, Apple thing. Look, you do you. Report to Starfleet Command. I'm tired. <laughs> right. Adam, when the apple was eaten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I learned that language. I specifically have been training to learn that language of <laughs> like with Shaka when the walls <laughs> fell. Adam Johansson when the EPS blew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. For, um, for the moment, the Piat can't stay here. We'll we'll uh, we'll have a full science. We'll request a full science. Yeah, I mean, team you're not, you're not, it's not going to be hard to get back to the Shaka. Yeah. Then it'll take some time preparing as you go. But no. good job, everyone. 
we didn't want to use our larger girl lab. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a chance to. They were we were, we were on a ship, really. We completely set up for stellar phenomena. Didn't kill a species. Win, win, win. Yeah. And they're still geared towards... Uh, you still have the same pod, because you're not going back to the Miranda at the moment. Cool. All right. Good job, everyone. Okay. We will be back in... Wow, it's going to be a, a while. Moment. Yeah. Because yeah. you're off. I'm going to England. England. Uh, we're back in, in literally three weeks. So, oh no. More yeah. than that. Yeah. One, two, three. It's going to be a month. We'll be back on July 14th. Weird. July 14th. 14th. So I won't be here. Yeah, you're going to be in Bali. Bermuda. Bermuda. Yeah. Bahama. Oh my god. Weird how I set you up to have That's to so like strange. nurse her back to health. Okay? <laughs> it's gonna be she's a gonna, long she's gonna be pissed when I, month. She figures out I took all her stuff. <laughs> you can always blame the thing on. <laughs> or fat Starfleet regulations. I was <laughs> doing my job. Anyways, we'll be back in a month. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Happy Picard Day. Happy Picard Day. <laughs> Picard.